Hey folks, AWR Hawkins, Bright Bar News. You know, we recently covered a two-week period of time, uh, July 29th through August 12th. And in that time frame, we explained that women used guns for self-defense 13 times, not just 13 times that was readily available via different reports. Of course, it happened more than that, but 13 times that could be reported and highlighted. One of those instances was a woman in Wake County. Uh, she was in a parking lot. The DA calls the guy an aggressor. The aggressor grabs her door handle, pulling, jerking on it, trying to get in the car. Woman pulled a gun, bam, pops him. Woman goes home safe that night because she was armed. We covered a woman in Salem, Indiana. She looked out her window. Her daughter's ex-boyfriend had pulled into the yard, had a gun to her husband's head. The woman retrieved her own firearm, went out in the yard. She shot the ex-boyfriend, saved her husband's life. Again, those are two of 13 examples that we gave. Just outside of that two-week window, you'll remember, just before that two-week window started, we covered a 75-year-old woman who was home alone in Oakland. And two armed intruders came in. They fired shots. She had a 357 Magnum, so that's kind of like having a hand cannon. She jerked that bad boy up. Kaboom! They took off running. Her daughter called her superwoman, and the town went wild about her courage. But it's another woman with a gun defending life. And this is a perfect time to remind you that Gary Kleck, the Florida State criminolo criminologist, has long maintained, and by long I mean for decades, that guns are used for defensive purposes in the U.S. at least 760,000 times a year. At least. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention had for a time on their website that guns are used 2.5 million times a year for defensive purposes. 2.5 million. And the thing I want you to understand, those gun uses are not just by men. A lot of women are using firearms to defend themselves, to level the playing field, to keep their families safe. Folks, the Second Amendment is for all of us.